Hey guys, Xboxer here, and this is uh, another update follow-up of my OSP Tiger Claw setup, and it does look a little different if you've been watching my videos. This is actually not the same Tiger Claw inverter that you've seen in previous videos. I actually sold my uh, previous unit with my two Group 31 batteries to a gentleman that's actually installing solar in uh, into his uh, work shed. And I decided to sell it for the really the main reason because I now have a Yamaha inverter generator and I figured I'd be using that more often when during my tailgating and camping trips. And that's why I decided to sell the unit. But I decided at later on, F about two weeks ago, that I really do like having an inverter set up and battery, but maybe not as big of a battery bank since I'm not going to need it. Uh, so... I decided to repurchase the Tiger Claw. Uh, the quality is still just as on par with uh, the batch from last year. And these are these are from China, uh, Shanghai, China, I believe. And one thing I wanted to make note is that this does not have a live neutral configuration, and most pure sine wave inverters don't. I don't know if that's uh, an inherent uh, design around pure sine wave inverters, but what a live neutral means is, and this really applies to modified sine wave uh, components, if you ground the new, the neutral, um, take the neutral lug and put, bond it to ground, it's going to short circuit half of the MOSFETs running the modified sine wave, that's the half phase of the modified sine wave. And then the line is obviously the other, the other side. That's why they refer to it as the live neutral. Both the neutral and the line are hot. They're moving it back and forth 60 times a second. But with the pure sine wave inverter, the ground and the AC section is isolated from the case, which the case is actually the ground lug here and the DC input section is isolated as well. So that's what allows you to bond the negative cable of the battery to the case ground and then bond the neutral to ground at the same time without any adverse effects. So the plan is to get a much smaller battery, maybe a group 24. I kind of kept the same cabling, new concepts, 300 amp up, high amperage fuse, not that I would ever load it down that much. And then instead of soldering on some lugs, I decided it was about the same price to get the lugs, uh, if it was copper lugs I solder in, or I got the new concepts um, uh, compression fitting here, and it's just compression fitted with this uh, set screw. Uh, it seems to do the job quite well. Again, you still need to address the cooling fan issues, which I've made a nice detailed video on how to fix that. It's a simple capacitor between the case ground of the case and the negative terminal of the battery. And then at lighter loads, say past say 10 amps or 15 amps or 100 to 150 watts, uh, the fans will turn on and off as they should instead of it just clicking and not spinning the way they should. Finally, an improvement in the performance, what I noticed is uh, there's a bit there in my last OSP Tiger Claw, there was a bit of an oscillation in, in the waveform, which caused uh, CFL lights, especially and LED lights like this one. This is an 8 watt LED. LED light, I forget the uh, ratings on how many lumens, but it's pretty bright and it's a very light load for the inverter. Uh, notice that if this inverter was not loaded to at least 100 watts, that any of these lights would flicker. Even on the incandescent ones, you would notice the flicker blinking and it would get pretty annoying. That's something that they've actually fixed here. Now, I haven't run a really heavy inverter load uh, to this, like a, you know, a motor or something like that, or uh, an electric heater, because I'm not going to need to go that uh, heavy of a load, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it if I turn off my overhead light, turn on the um, the light here, and I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it on camera, but from my naked eye and even on the camera here, um, there's no flicker at all of uh, what I normally found uh, in my other OSP Tiger Claw, so I believe they've actually fixed that oscillation and I'll be able to confirm that in the comments once I take a look at the oscilloscope. I'll look at it off camera and uh, see if the um, oscillation and the waveform is still there. But if it's not flickering, chances are it's gone. So I hope that's uh, helpful for people that are looking into this unit. I see that they're running low on stock right now, but again, for 200 bucks, you really cannot go wrong for the performance. I wouldn't install it in a car that's not really vibration rated on inside there but this is a perfect little uh, casual inverter to you know power little small things and even do heavier things if you really wanted it to